face. Bump to the boot, to the boot, to the boot. Bump to the base, to the base, base, base. Man, 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 Hello, hello everyone, how are you all doing? Today we're playing a bit of Breath of the Wild. I just started a, a new save, on a new account of course, because I don't think you can actually have two saves on the same account, which is a bit odd I think, but it's not that big of an issue, it's just for this playthrough. I also want to change in the options, because I normally have the change jumper button, j jump button, j jump button on, uh, and then I jump with B instead, because I personally prefer jumping with B. And uh, yeah, let's just let's just get into it. This game is amazing, by the way. Uh, so I said in the best game of the decade video that I, I personally preferred Odyssey. Since then, I've played a bit more of Breath of the Wild, and I think I prefer it now. So it's. It will help guide it's my oh this is a Sheikah slate take it it will help you guide you after your long slumber I think Zelda also says that but I can't hear the game audio so I'm just going to read it <laughs> have something to do so I did think about doing like a permadeath playthrough like RT did but I don't want to steal stuff from other people uh, that's kind of not really that <laughs> that good of an idea so I decided just to do a normal playthrough and I don't have the master mode DLC, so I can't really do it. Well, I could do a permadeath playthrough when that's not master mode. Why is my mouse over the game? Okay, so here we have a couple of chests with the bait. Oh god. Okay, that's an old shirt. Yes, I op I know how to open the inventory. Well, the game doesn't know that I know that. Look at that. This one can have some well worn trousers. One defense, or one. What what is that number actually? Like defense? Or, like probably. Yeah. So is there anything else? Oh yeah, I need a sword. Oh, the camera is very slow. I I changed I changed like a good bit of settings on me. Where do we not get a weapon or just is it just just some clothes? All right, just some clothes. Or is that, is that not, no? That's not another chest. Okay, let's continue then. Let's go outside. Hold the sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That, that will show you the way. way. I think Zelda does say this. So. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the game audio uh, and everything working correctly. Because I had like... I don't know if the game audio is actually working. It just works like 50% of the time. Yes, it works. Alright. It's just not that loud. I might turn it up because... Zelda doesn't really have... A ton of background music, like there's the occasional like piano. That's why I put a uh, put some music over there. Usually there's not that much. But let's go. Oh, very cool light link. No, I'm just gonna let Zelda do that. You know what? Let's let's turn up the game audio a bit. Where is it? Here we are. And maybe down to minus five because I don't want me to not be. Like, I want you to still be able to hear me. 
Okay, there we go. Now we need to climb this. Will you? Oh, you need... You don't need to press B later in the game. Like, I never press B when I'm going up to a wall. Alright. Now we have... Well, this intro sequence is kind of ruined by my music. <laughs> but, um... This game also just looks very good for a Switch game. Like, yeah, it's it's a, bit, a little bit more artsy than, like, uh, Twilight Princess or something, but, like, I don't really like Twilight Princess as much. Like, I, I personally do like Wind Waker a lot more. That's, again, just an opinion, so don't kill me for that. <laughs> there we go, and the old man should be there. Look at him. Well... <laughs> Okay, can we go? Okay, here we have a tree branch. Yes, I know how to use a weapon. <laughs> kind of odd going back to the beginning of the game. Like, I, I was uh, doing Eventide, which... Oh, how do you say... Eventide? Eventide? I don't know. How you say that? Um, I was doing that, and then you kind of go back to the beginning of the game. Like this, like, yeah, the tree branch is a pretty good weapon there. Oh, pretty good. There's actually a lot, a lot of decent weapons like the axe and stuff. But there's also an axe down here, so basically, maybe can I? Oh no, I don't have the glider yet. I, I was gonna glide down, but I don't have a glider yet. All right. Hello there. Can I take that apple? A baked apple. I beg your pardon. I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me. I couldn't resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. It's a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me, I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That's fair enough. And I cannot imagine the meeting to be a simple coincidence. I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to the legend, this is the birthplace of the entire Kingdom of Hyrule. Alright, he's gonna show us. Look, there, there, there's... Our... Oh, the Temple of Time. Alright, yeah, I kind of forgot that was here. <laughs> that temple there long ago was a site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the Kingdom 100 years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. Uh, the Temple of Time is also an Ocarina of Time. I know that, it's like a bit of... Oh, can I just leave? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave. So this is uh, the axe. We can use that. I don't even think the game... Oh no, the game did... Oh, I don't have the glide yet. I was gonna glide over to that platform, but I don't have the glide yet. That's weird, like, you have the glide for basically the entire game. Only like this little... Beginning area with four first shrines. I do think I'm going. I'm supposed to go over to uh, the tower. Activate those. Quickly replenish the stamina. And this is a rusty broadsword. That's like a good damage deal. I was gonna, I was going to use the glider again. That's like a good damage deal early on, but it doesn't have uh, much durability. Like the axe is actually like a probably the first proper weapon you're going to use. At least I, I think so. Like it has a lot of durability in comparison to like a tree branch or something. All right. The Temple of Time. Shall we explore this place first? I mean, there is stuff to do here. Not much. Oh. Link. 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 <laughs> Head for the point marked Head on the, the map, point mark on the map when you seek a slate. Uh, okay. Fine, but I'm currently at the Temple of Time. Yeah, I, I know how to open the map. Look at that. There's nothing unlocked. God, that's weird. Like on on my main save, I have like all the map uh, pieces. It's actually pretty easy when you ha when you got uh, Rivali's Gale. There was stuff here, wasn't there? Oh, oh no, this is not the main temple. <laughs> the main temple is over there, up, in, up these stairs. Yeah. It's like a front house, I guess. 
I don't know, I, I, I haven't played Ocarina of Time yet. I haven't played many Zeldas. As I said, Wind Waker is my favourite one, but it's probably just because beside this... Oh, not not my favourite one, beside this one my favourite one. But it's also, beside this one, my most played one. Boko Club. Throw weapon. Uh, yeah, I don't use that feature. I don't really throw my weapons. Maybe, like, if they don't have a high durability, it's actually not that stupid. Or if they only have, like, a little bit of durability left. Could my phone please stop? <laughs> Okay, we have some vases, or pots, I think they're actually called. Hmm. <laughs> Small difference. Oh, what's this? An opal. I, I, I don't know if they actually have a purpose. <laughs> do they do stuff, or is it just for money? Because I usually just sell them. Is there anything else here? Well, there's, there's some arrows, and... Link, please, Link. Arrows... Oh my god, he really wants to climb. Come on, open this chest, I know there's a bow in here. Travel as a bow, so we can actually fire arrows now. We only have five of them. So this is the... One of the statues, where you can trade in your spirit orbs. I don't think I can do that yet. Oh no, you can pray. Is this gonna tell me, like, uh, the goddess statue smiles upon you? Oh, is that that's just it, alright. Or maybe to tell me like that I need to get the shrines. I, the game hasn't even introduced me to shrines yet. I don't really know what makes me think that, and I don't have the special. What, is, what are, what's it called? The thing with. Oh, what's it? Just the bombs and and uh, I don't. I completely forgot like. I completely forgot like stasis and magnesis and bombs and stuff. Well, they probably have a name. I just forgot them. Hey, could you... <laughs> he's, he's a bit confused. <laughs> Look at him. I love how they just roll on the ground. Like... <laughs> Come on. Okay, there he goes. Wait, wasn't there actually something in here? I, I remember there being something here. Like a chest or something. Maybe... Maybe it's a different one, it looks very similar to this. This is all these small buildings around the temple. Let's go and... You know what, let's actually do what the game wants me to, because like, a lot of fun can be had just exploring around. That's actually like the biggest... The most fun thing in Breath of the Wild is probably just running around and trying to... Like, making your own little challenges. It's a bit like Minecraft in a lot of ways, like, it allows for a ton of creativity. I do hope that the sequel, when it comes out, I don't know when it's going to come out, we don't... No no one knows, I don't know why I, why I said I. Oh, we can use the rock! Uh, one thing that I hope, like, in Breath of the Wild, would in, in Breath of the Wild 2 would, uh, would happen, is that you could maybe build, like, your own bases. <laughs> like, that... That would be really cool, I... I don't know if they would actually... Okay, that was very disappointing. <laughs> they didn't even see the rock! <laughs> Okay, I, I need to... Uh, can't climb, climb up! Thank you. I'm gonna shoot him. That did not do very much damage. Oh, they can pick those things up. He, they killed himself! They killed themselves! What idiots. They threw a bomb at me and it didn't even hit me. They, they killed themselves. All right, let's uh, let's go over to the tower over there. There's there's some more bull corpulents, I think they're called the normal pig enemies. All oh, the stamina wheels. Ow. No, stop! This guy can't really shoot, can he? <laughs> He's just standing there, like I'm walking towards him with an axe in my hand. Like what is what is he expecting to happen? <laughs> okay, I got I got a bow. Yes, okay, I get it. It's it's the same as the normal weapons, but just need to have an, an, an extra extra button press. Press the ZR. And the horns and fangs are mostly just for upgrades, I think. Oh, some more arrows. Oh, here's another one. Don't mind if I take these. I'm gonna take another bow. Till my inventory is full, I can kind of just take everything I please. 
So let's go to the tower. I think you're gonna listen if the audio is good. Seems fine. Alright. Examine. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. You just need to put it in there. It's basically the same place as where you got one from. Like, it's not that confusing, Link. It's really not. Please wait for falling rocks. Oh, this is probably pretty loud, isn't it? I can't hear anything, but it, it does seem pretty loud. Like that would make a bit a bit of ruckus. Not, not that much. Like you need to know, I like my own audio is on a delay. I, I yeah, my I can't do anything about it being a delay because the game audio. Like I could have my own audio not be at a delay, but like, I don't need to constantly listen to myself. I'm not. My voice isn't that good. At least I'm just up there, I don't need to climb it. <laughs> Great Plateau Tower. Alright, we get it, it's a cool tower. Distilling local information. We're updating Google Maps. Or in this case, installing it, because it's the... <laughs> We're getting the first piece of, uh, of the map. Whoa, look at that. Now we have a map. Regional map extracted. Good. So now we can actually see where we're going. Oh yeah, there, there's a bit of a cutscene here. Eh? Try to remember. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna let Zelda do the... do the talking. At least I think it, like, it should work. Because I do know that, that the memories, I don't know why, but they don't have the voices in docked mode. In undocked, it's fine. But in, so I need to take the switch out of the dock to listen to the cutscenes. That's a bit, it's a bit odd. Now then. Seems to work. You must As it is now, me. so I'm not complaining, but we're not going to get to the memories. Before we might get to um, Kakariko, because that's basically like the first place you go once you've left the Great Plateau. Like, basically. Follow Jashika Slate. Good. Um, I need... Oh, I need to climb down now, I think. Wait, how do I get down, though? Because... Oh, no, this one's... This one's not blocked. Oh, the... Oh. I thought I was dead for a second there. Yeah, let's jump down. Nope. Just jump down. You... Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so this is the reason I didn't do a permadeath playthrough, because that would have meant that we had to restart. Could that serve? <laughs> Could you imagine, like, the hero of Hyrule, when <laughs> he just falls down out of the tower? <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty bad end to the hero of Hyrule. Okay, so let's go carefully, but not climbing. Link really wants to climb. Like, if you get close enough to a wall, oh my god. Okay, I did ha- okay. Okay, I didn't die again. I, that was a bit bit weird because I didn't hear anything. Like I know he said like oh, and then he comes down, but like <laughs> he just stands there. My my, it would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you don't mind me asking, did anything occur while you were atop the tower? I heard a voice. Well, now a voice, you say. Did it happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. 
I see. Well, that's unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of the atrocity in surrounding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity has brought the Kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength upon the moment it building its strength for for the moment it'll unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I must ask you, cour courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Uh, do I have much of a choice? <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Here in this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. I think there are ways to get down there, but there's actually like a death barrier. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. <laughs> Handed over, no, I... <laughs> Come on, be a bit friendly, paraglider. Oh, you piqued your interest, have I? <laughs> yes, I didn't, I didn't come soaring down here in my own feathery wings, you know. <laughs> Worry not, I happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Let's see now. How about I trade a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? The isolated plateau. Open the adventure log. Yeah, I don't really need to open it, I know what to do. Come, let me show you something. Alright. Here we are. This is my lowest walking speed, by the way, and I'm... I'm still faster than him. Yeah? <laughs> Do we need to talk to you? Alright. You see that structure there? The one shining with a strange light? There it is. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Alright, so we need to do four shrines <laughs> for the paraglider. Good. Oh, so yeah, uh, Age of Calamity. That's, uh, that's like, it just released, like, a couple of days, maybe a week ago. Uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't... I, I never played Hyrule Warriors, the original one on Wii U, and... Was the original one on Wii U? I think there was one on Wii as well. I don't know. I never played any High Warriors games, and I think they're more like fighting games, and I, as far as I can get, don't really enjoy fighting games as much. I definitely prefer this game. Even if I got it, I'd probably still say I prefer this game. But Breath of the Wild 2 was also uh, on the horizon. Well, on the horizon, we don't really know when it's coming out. It could be another year. It probably is going to be another year, seeing the circumstances. But this game will keep me uh, entertained. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know how many people, like how, the percentage of the people that have Breath of the Wild, how many of those people do you think got every single Korok seed? Because that's probably a very low amount, like 0 0.1 like at most. That would still be like a ton of people. How, many, how much did Breath of the Wild even sell? I don't, I don't remember. A couple of millions. Uh, Magnesis trial. Okay, so here we get Magnesis. Let's uh, get that. Sheikah State, Sheikah Slate authenticated. Distilling rune. That's what they're called. Runes. That's what they're called. And we are now. This time we're not updating Google Maps, but there's actually no no app that can mag magnetically like do anything. Magnesis. Manipulate metal metallic objects using magnetism. Grab onto metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the magnesis room. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Room extracted. So there we go. And 
Now we can use rooms. We can open these. We can take these things away. Wait, can, can you actually... I'm gonna try and put one in there. No, in there. Because if I can take one with me, maybe that'll help me. Oh god. I think I've made a mistake. Well, I can still take it with me. Come on. Oh my god. No, come back. Okay, this probably... I probably don't need one of those anyway. I'm actually fairly certain. Yeah, I just need to do this. Could you? I want to push all of them. Push them away. Come on. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that hurt me. <laughs> all right, they're all. Oh, um. Yeah, the axe will do. No, let's let's use the rusty broadsword. No, don't you don't you point your lasers at me? That's quarter of a heart. That's not really that much, is it? Ancient spring. A spring using ancient machinery. It's like you know what? Let's not read the descriptions because <laughs> let's not read all of those. Because I do want to have a voice when the stream is over. There we go. And open these doors. Look at that. And that's already the end of the shrine. Aren't there like usually like bonus chests or like at least one of them? Maybe there is one around. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> that's pretty easy. I'll show you. These shrines get much more difficult. But I hate those um, what they called advanced uh, or oh no major test of strength. <laughs> I really hate those. Okay, what did I even get? I, I, I kind of just continued on from it. Okay, so here we have... Um, well, I don't think I'm supposed to know that yet, but it's a Sheikah. And they're like, really old. <laughs> You've proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman Ao, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of Goddess Hylia, and dedicated to helping those. Oh, okay. <laughs> with your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of the Goddess Hylia, allow me to show you, bestow you this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit orb. And we now get a spirit orb. I actually always skip these. I I, I think for the first time around I did watch them, but like <laughs> they're long. They really don't need to be there. May the goddess smile upon you. And there he goes. Well, it <laughs> really no. Battle tip, monsters I'm not gonna they're loading screen tips, you can read them yourself. <laughs> I was just immediately, I see text, I'm going to read it. Great Plateau. <laughs> oh, there's the old man again. Seems you've managed to get your hands on the spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Clairvoyance, or <laughs> just perhaps something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what's right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that's not true for everyone. Ho ho ho. <laughs> the appearance of those towers and the awakening of the shrine. It's all connected to that Sheikah slate you can carry on your hip there. What do you mean? <laughs> you can just ask for the paraglide just constantly. It's been quite some time since I've seen that Sheikah slate. A long time ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting how to think 
how something like that survived all of his time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are st still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I will give you my paraglider. <laughs> so that wasn't the deal, so I need more. Now let's be a bit different. I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one treasure. Whether it is one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter like yourself? Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? Got it. I, just, I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you walk, uh, the shrine where you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Well, so we heard quite some time ago. And you know, I do not know if it actually works as such. Okay. Well, I know it does. <laughs> oh, this <there's> R.I.P. <laughs> Me dying right next to the tower. Look, you can check if the audio is okay. Alright. Everything seems fine. Quickly gonna put it on full screen so I can actually see if the quality of the video is fine. Oh, it's exactly very good. Alright. Alright, uh yes, I need to talk to him. Wait, how did you get here? I teleported up here. <laughs> you were just down there! Oh. I just wanted to actually zoom in, but <laughs> you were just down there. Surprised to look, uh, it took so long to catch up with an old man like me. Did you fly here? Yeah, like how? <laughs> so you think an old man like me needs to fly and stay ahead of you? <laughs> Still have a few tricks left in me. I mean, I know, I, I kind of know how he did it. But let's keep that. Now then. I want you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Do you know about the scope on your Sheikah Slate? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Yes, I know that. Pins on your map serve as reference points for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> Just a few tricks I've picked up after many, many years in the wild. You may take my advice or leave it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Well, um, there is one over there. I immediately saw that one. I mean, I do kind of still know where they are. There's one over there. And the other one is on the other side of this tower. It is... Is it? There's one there. Oh, with the guardians. The area of the guardians over here. Yeah, there it is. So I have found all three remaining ones. Let's go to the guardian area. Is that, isn't that the play? Oh, I don't, I shouldn't just jump off the tower. <laughs> I'm going to die. That's a problem when you're used to having a glider and then it's taken off you and then you... I do want to get the glider at least. I at least want to try getting the glider. I'll, I'll probably go to Kakariko and then, I don't know. We'll see how long it takes. These shrines are... Not the easiest to get to get to, because there's actually uh, one is in like a snow area. You need some better clothes, or I you can use a potion as well, or a torch. That also works. Early game. That that actually works pretty good. Early game. So let's go over here. No goblins around. Doesn't seem like it. Well, the better. I think there are two stationary guardians in here. But I have a bit of a trick. It's called um, just running around them. <laughs> just going from the back of the shrine. <laughs> Do 
just doing this and then you don't have to uh, deal with the guardians. At least I hope so. You don't even need to climb. Oh no, you do need to climb. Right. Not too big of an issue. That is. I found it interesting. I never knew where that bridge was, and it's just right next to the Great Plateau. <laughs> Jabaj Shrine. Let's go over here. I don't need to see this. I didn't even see it the first time, but it's, it's just it turns blue. That's that's the main thing, and that goes down. All right. This is also, by the way, the Switch version of the game. It's not the Wii U version. I do oh, I do have a Wii U. So uh, I did skip this the first time round, didn't I? <laughs> You were set foot in the shrine, I am Jabaj, in the name of the guy, I offer you this trial, yeah. Fine. <laughs> oh, this is the bomb trial. Oh, good. We get the bombs now. Great. Sheikah Slate Authenticated Distilling Rune. We're downloading bombs onto our... ...phone. <laughs> what is the Sheikah Slate? We're downloading bombs, just... <laughs> oh, I have a good joke to make here. The Galaxy uh, S... Wait, which one was it? Seven exploded, yeah. <laughs> the Seven's one exploded. I'm actually not sure now. <laughs> I'm gonna make jokes about that, but I forget now which one was it. Was it even 7 or the 8? I think it was the 7. Or oh, no, no 7, I think it was. Note 7, yes, Note 7. Oh, I <laughs> Yeah, bombs can be uh, pretty bad. That just did 2.5 hearts of damage. I thought that was it already. No, it's definitely not. So, look at this there. That is not how you do it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Come on, okay. Go up and boom. There we go. Oh, I can already beat it from that. I was trying to use the glider again. This has a ball going from one to the other. How? Oh god. Okay, wait. Can I not just... Wait, so if I... No, okay, that... <laughs> I don't know why I think I thought that would work. So wait, is the ball just showing how it works, or...? Like, I don't get it. Hmm. Wait, but putting a bomb in here isn't gonna help anything. I need to be here. Okay, then I'm over here, and then I got the chest. Good. I don't know what the ball does. What is the ball supposed to do? Oh, hello. <laughs> First person in the comments. Hello. I, I don't know what... Is there, like a, like, a place for the ball to go? Apparently not. Okay, that's just... I think that's just kind of to show off how it works. Oh no, there's a ladder over there. I don't need to go up here. <laughs> I probably still have a bomb. Good, and exploded. And we have done this shrine as well. I'm gonna skip this one, because they're always as long as the first one, and I'm, I don't want to keep watching those. I actually want... To, to go to Kakariko before the end of the stream. Or at least do the four shrines. You can do that in an hour. Yeah, also for the different time for the stream, um, today I, um, I'm gonna go out uh, this afternoon, so... It's Black Friday, you know. <laughs> Not specifically for that reason, just... Oh, bomb! I can use the bomb! Boom! Now I'm in even more danger because there's 
The Guardian over here. Let's let's try and kill the Guardian. Come on. This one's the real one, right? Yeah, that's the real one. There's an animation. Good. Yeah, can I... Boom. Okay, that doesn't do much damage. Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. I'm not specifically going because of Black Friday, because I think the place I'm going to doesn't even have Black Friday sales, but what's it really matter that much? I mean, I want to say what you got for Black Friday. I, I haven't gotten anything yet. I'm probably today going to get a DS, uh, DS Lite, so we can take that like everywhere. Could you not? Keys, they're called. Yes, keys. This is going to take quite a while. And this, like, <laughs> you know what? If I die, who cares? I fell off of a tower and died. Game Mania, yeah, Game Mania, it's... The problem with that is that it's like... How am I still alive? <laughs> okay, let's use one of the Bogo clubs. The problem with Game Mania is like, I don't have one very close by anymore at least. Can I hit him in the eye, please? No, go, 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 go. Ooh. It's gonna buy the iPhone 12 today. I mean, you can do that. I I wanted to to find the PlayStation 4 for like a for like a good price, but there's not really many many uh, cheap PlayStation 4s around. I mean, you can just buy one used. And yeah, I'm not gonna kill that Guardian because that's gonna take quite a while. There's one like yeah, there is one like decently cool spot, but it's still like quite a while, and there's not really. A good place for parking over there. Oh, there's another one here, right? You can always shop on my knee. That's correct, that's correct. Well, the place I am going to today is not does not have an online store. But in most stores, you can just do it online. Actually, I should check. These guys always have, like... There you go. Maybe they have a new round. The thing is, too, I, I kind of hoped for a lower price. I think I got my hopes up uh, for a for a cheap PS4. I kind of hoped that maybe it would be like around 100, maybe. But like, no, 100 new is actually kind of ridiculous. But, but like, it, the PS5 did just release, and I was kind of hoping maybe they want to get rid of the PS4s. But I think the PS4 is still going to sell extremely well, even when the PS5 is out. Because at the moment, the PS5 doesn't have much like to it how much is your max i mean i don't really have a max but i mean <laughs> i'll try and search as i said I'd, I'd love one for 100 but i think like for 100 you need to get one used i think i might actually just get one used i don't really know what my issue is with getting a ps4 used <laughs> might just do that anyway today i'm gonna get a ds that's that's for sure <laughs> Because I have one, that, like I have, since I bought like my uh, my 2DS, which is like one of my first uh, consoles actually, that had like a DS flash card, and the DS like can also play Game Boy Advance. Which where am I going? <laughs> I'm trying to kind of trying to go. Wait, so these two shrines, I'm probably gonna go to the blue one first, because the red one is there. I need a torch for that. There is actually a torch where the old man is. Like getting one used, you can get one for a good price. I'm, at the moment, I'm playing a Switch game. For 100 max, you're getting PS4 with the ventilation and the disc reader. Is there a version without the disc reader? I, I thought only the Xbox One this generation had a version without the disc... The, the, oh god. <laughs> I didn't say a word, the disc reader. <laughs> That's it. I mean, used, you can probably get a slim for that. I'm not, I'm not asking for a pro either, I, I play on Switch and my display is 1080p60, I'm not going to get more out of 4k. Ooh. Oh, did you, look, did you see him? They, were, they just fell over and <laughs> went to sleep. <laughs> look at him. Oh, I wish I could take a picture of them now. I mean, oh, for parts, oh my god. I'm not going to build my own PS4, that's a bit... 
Okay, I'm probably gonna try and shoot that one. You're not getting a slim front. Used, maybe. Critical hits do two times damage. Good. Do I need another vocal ball? No, I can use one. Thing is, if I crit them, I cr I did. Crouch increases health. Okay. Oh god, they're going around. <laughs> oh dear. Well, he saw me. <laughs> I mean, with an axe, they they're not that. Let's let's use one. Let's use their own weapons against them. They're vocal clubs. They do a bit more damage. Don't, don't you dare shoot me. Don't you dare. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> I dodged him. Okay, we have a chest now. I Usually there's not too good stuff in there, but... Oh, a shield! Yes, I have a shield now. I never use shields, really. They're basically just decoration to me. Like, I really should. I'm not happy that I don't use shields, but like... And, and I never use Daruk's protection. Wait, I have the chesses over there. I just don't saw on like the the stream I have on the, on my phone. Like just completely forgot about the chest. What? What do we have in here? Throwing spear. My inventory is full already. <laughs> oh my god. At least I. Oh, okay. I just don't have that many slots. I'm not dropping that. I'm dropping the tree branches. I don't need tree branches. Throwing spear. Yes, I know it's a throwing spear. <laughs> and there is the old man again. He's just everywhere, ev everywhere at once. God, I <laughs> sometimes talking is like, oh, another shield. It does. L Wait, it's less than. Like, if you look at these shields, which one do you think? <laughs> The neat pot lid or like the Boko shield? For 298. Yeah, I I looked at a couple of websites. No, I don't need to read the diary. I looked at a couple of websites. I mean, I'm not I'm in no rush for a PS4. I mean <laughs> The games are still gonna be there and if 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 one thing is, is for certain they're probably gonna be sh gonna be cheaper. <laughs> Another axe, good. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just taking all of his stuff. Like, he's just here. Doesn't he care that I'm taking his food? I'm taking his axe. I'm basically just taking everything from him, breaking his vases. Poor old man. <laughs> Fancy that, so we meet. You're not looking at me. <laughs> 198.95. I think that's the best one I've seen yet. Like, under 200 is. Probably the best I'm gonna get for a brand new one, but I don't specifically need a brand new one. As I said, I'm in no rush, so probably even next year they're probably gonna be cheaper on the uh, on main store shelves because this year the PS5 is technically out, but like there first of all really no games that you really should have because most are all already on the uh, on PS4 like Bug Snacks is gonna just release on PS4 as well. I love the only example I give is Bug Snacks, because it's basically the only game I really want to play. Well, actually, also Hogwarts Legacy, but I, we don't know when that's releasing yet. I'm hoping early next year. So we meet again. After a day like this, I'm exhausted. I don't know about you, but I'm exhausted! <laughs> Ron ensues. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll be needing my bed. You can use my bed if you ever need to rest for a bit. Well, assuming I'm not already in it, of course. I love how he's not even looking at me. He's just turning his back and talking to me. There's a fire outside if you're looking to pass the time. Alright. I actually... To be honest, if... Okay, he, he went in there. If he, if he didn't go in there, I, I don't have full health. What is this? A pitchfork. Farmer's pitchfork. That does a lot of damage. Wait, wait. Excuse me, I need that. Uh, let's 
drop one of the Borkle, maybe not drop two of the Borkle clubs. I don't need that many. Alright, so I need to use my axe and then chop down one of the trees, get up here and I think after that the main thing is to climb up there, which I remember having a lot of trouble with my first time round. Or maybe it's going around, I don't know, let's, let's just cop, chop down one of these trees and then play the game. <laughs> If I uh, if I ever need a uh, uh, a price um, comparer, I'll uh, I'll call you. <laughs> okay, acorn. I they don't really do much. Actually, in early game, in early game though, quarter quarter of a heart. I take two and I have full health again. So acorns aren't actually that bad. Oh god. Well, no, don't you dare. Okay, he. Fell off. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so you'll have to deal with this one. And he also fell off. Great. Uh, this is also new. Boko Spear. Uh, a bomb here, so I can't get up there. Fire path here. Okay, so metal chest. That usually means good. Five fire arrows. That's actually. I know how to find. Yeah. <laughs> So I guess it's time for climbing, which is going to take quite a while. There must be a way just to properly get up there. I, well, it, you, The game probably wants you to do some climbing, like I mean there are platforms around, so probably this is what you're supposed to do, because the only other option is going via the snow area. No, I... Regenerate your stamina. Your house. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you told me where you live. <laughs> of course, that's that's. I'm not gonna give that information away on the public screen on the public stream. That's ridiculous. I also need to cook something. That's <laughs> that usually gives you more health for the same stuff. That's also something I just really don't do. Like I don't block. I don't. I don't cook much. Well, I do cook. I I do do that occasion. Like you kind of need to. Like it gives you so much health. Let's stand on this platform. I think this is kind of more I supposed to do. I think I tried to do it in like one go. I think I climbed up from somewhere else. Well, yes, but actually no. Well, yes, but actually no. Thirty-seven. No. Uh, not not on stream. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're not giving a man's address on the stream, please. <laughs> I'm almost there. And then they can start talking about the, uh, the shrine instead of whatever the chat has been so far. Oh, I got another, another rush room. I like that name, rush room. Why don't, why aren't like the different type of mushrooms like in Mario? Like a rush room would be really cool, like making you go a bit faster or something. You know, there's a lot of games I want to play on on, uh, on Switch. Like since I got the capture card, there's so many opportunities. Overdime Shrine. Dangerously close to Uwu, but. Luckily not. Oh, oh no, uh, Orwo, oh, oh, sorry. Need to, need to make the distinction. <laughs> stasis trial. Let's get stasis. Breed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Breed. Shiga Slate Authenticated Distilling Room. Okay, we're, we're updating our, our OS again. Shika OS. Chic OS. <laughs> Message retracted, I just saw that one in chat. Stasis, alright. Oh, no. 
I meant the name of the shrine, by the way, <laughs> or, the, or the name of the person who was running. Oh, stasis, stasis. There we go. Why, why did I say oh? Why did I do that? <laughs> One of the most stupid things you can ever say anywhere. I need to. Uh, oh, I missed! <laughs> Please. Is another one gonna come down, or is it just like. Come on, freeze! Or... Do they only fall? Okay, they only fall when you're looking at. That didn't really work. Can I climb in there? No. <laughs> oh, there we are. Cancel that. Try and get another one. Takes quite a while. Okay, let's try and stop it over here. Okay, mid-air as well. Good. And what's over here? There's a sword. That's an, I don't know why I said sword. It's a hammer. <laughs> I'm just intrigued by what chat is doing. Like <laughs> it's like an entire entire. It's not a discussion. It's just. <laughs> I don't really know. No, God. <laughs> so I'm gonna English. Okay. Right. There's a jet. Wait, there's an. Oh, I need to go over there. Traveler's shield. That's, I think, a better one than I currently have. Auto corrected. And there we go. What do I do? Oh, this. Okay, I need to use the hammer to move this. Hammers are really good for this for some reason. <laughs> Oh, I didn't really think this through, did I? And there it goes. I didn't... Okay, it fell down there. God, the camera is really slow. I have my camera really fast on... Uh... I might change that. Wait, it's a little second. Camera... Uh, no, camera sensitivity. I have that one very fast because I personally prefer a faster camera. What do you call a blind Fortnite player? I don't know, Yana. <laughs> no, that was that was not. Okay, your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of. I'm, I'm gonna skip this. Come on. <laughs> Spirit orb. That's our third one. So I only need to get a torch. Need to grab a torch from the old man's little cave in the beginning and make sure I don't wait. I need to. Hmm. Cause there's a Brit. Oh, that's that's gonna be. I just like have memories of me like spending hours and hours on every one of these shrines trying to figure out where I need to go. But I don't think I, because this one took me very long to figure out. So what I think I need to do is go via here and then up around there. And there is a Bokoblin camp here. So first thing, first things, first things first. Travel to the shrine, shrine of Resurrection, then walk completely around that hill, and then profit. Well, then we do the shrine. And there we go. Shrine of Resurrection. Quickly checking the game audio again. I need to jump. Oh, I don't need to jump. I think everything is alright. The game audio is a bit loud. Hmm, it's not that. I might turn it down a bit. Just like a, an 8 decibel, I guess. Something like that. Breath of the Wild is a bit of an odd situation, because half the time there's really nothing of sound. And then like the other times it's pretty loud. 
Well, let's grab the torch over there. I need to drop a weapon. Let's see, what should I drop? I usually don't use spears, but this one, the Boko one. Alright, get some apples and... Ooh, yeah, okay, I, I know you can teleport. Well then, just help yourself with that torch there. And yes, uh, how are you planning to use it? I mean, I'm planning to use it to get to the... Oh, it doesn't matter. It's rather unnerving. Please be cautious. <laughs> uh, plenty of monsters in this area. Torch should make a good weapon if need be. I've been answering it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock this up. Yeah, okay, lock on, but... I just want to use the torch to go through the snow area. Because <laughs> this area over here is completely frozen over. And you freeze if you don't have like a torch or something to give you warmth. I need to go around this way because I can die if I don't do that. <laughs> Wait, is this, um, Korok? No. Okay, it really seemed like... Oh, no, wait, what's this? It was... Oh, let's climb down, okay. <laughs> I was very confused for a second there. Hello, Vitor. If that's how you say it, I don't know. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm playing some Breath of the Wild today. Just casually doing the early game. I died twice, once to falling down this tower and once to a guardian over here because I was way too confident in being able to kill it. And now we're going over to the last shrine in this area in the snowy place. Oh, there's another there's another camp here. Can I just kind of walk around that? I hope so. Because there's another camp exactly where I need to go, and I'm gonna have to do that one. Basically sure of it. And they didn't see me. Wait, was it just... Oh no, there they are, okay. I <laughs> thought they were completely gone. I do like in the other game that they're all just normal book openers, because later on you get like the black ones, or... Uh, I... That's not in a racist way, it's just that they... They, they, I should really, <laughs> that's just the way they are, that's not meant in any way, okay, I need to, I have a torch, no, this is a, this is just a camp, this is a dead end. Sorry, but I don't understand what you say because I'm Brazilian. Um, I'm actually Dutch, and maybe you can't really understand me very well because of my uh, my accent. I do try, kind of, to hide it and make sure it doesn't really come up uh, too well. Wait, I can stand on this? That's interesting. <laughs> But I uh, sadly do not know any Brazilian. Sorry, I don't. I don't even know a word. I think. Oh, there's some. What is that? Oh, that's a Korok. I'm. I'm fairly certain that's a Korok. I want to get one of those too. Make sure I can uh, upgrade my weapon stash at the dancing. What is he even called? Like the dancing Korok guy. I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, can I actually get there without a glider? I think so. I think I can actually get there. Because if I climb over here... Oh, that was... I I hope that was the cap... I think that was a capture card. This game runs perfectly on the Switch. I think, like, cap 60. Uh, oh, that... I, I use stasis on that. No, don't, not stasis. Magnesis. Come on. Place that one there, and is that not good enough for the Koroks? Put it in. Can I even get Koroks at this point? Yeah, okay. 
Yahaha, ha, you found me. Huh? You're not Hestu. Hestu, that's his name, okay. But can you see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you want to Hestu, please return this to him. The Korok Seed. Alright. Friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. <laughs> no! Oh my god. I think I think I did the same thing in my normal playthrough. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, that's me, alright. I'm just seeing it in the stream replay now. <laughs> just jumped off the platform. Okay, it did save, so I didn't really lose any progress. Alright. Have you ever killed a stone tallest from the Great Plateau? Um, I have. This is not my first playthrough of the game. I have done that before. It's the guy over in the forest there, somewhere. Or I don't. Did I actually kill that? I do. I I do know I have killed a stone talus. I have done that, but I, I do think I've done the one in Great Plateau. Or he might have killed me because I was an early game. I don't know, I don't really remember that well. But oh, this is just uh, an, another playthrough I'm doing for the stream. It'd be a bit weird if I, uh, if I do my playthrough, because I'm basically now ready for Ganon at this point on my main playthrough. Who knows, we might continue with this. Maybe we're gonna beat Ganon. I mean, that would take quite a while doing all the four. Oh, there it is. There is the shrine. Doing all the four divine beasts. So if, uh, maybe I do need probably. Do they have a campfire? Yes. Okay, so I do need to kill them. Maybe use my bow cheekily. Hit one of them on the head. I completely missed. <laughs> okay, I did hit one. Come on. Oh, it's not too low. I missed again. I'm just gonna kill. If you use the sledgehammer, it'll do more damage to the talus. Uh, yes, I did. I don't know where I, I heard that, but I did hear that before. I, I think maybe I watched one of the Point Crow videos on it or something. I don't know. He, he uh, speedruns the game, so. Maybe it was like a specific. I don't know. I, how do I even get up? <laughs> Can I just. They're not going down, so I can just use this and then go over the bridge. Actually, no, I need to uh, use Magnesis on that platform and make my own bridge. So I could probably... Oh, no, I... Uh, this is not too great. Well, it's it, it goes very slow. This is a, like, one... Come on. Can I not rotate them? <laughs> I'm actually kind of amazed that you can't do that. Okay, no. I I think I can make that. I, I lost a full heart because of that. That's that's why we use torches, kids. The issue is you can't really use them while running or while doing literally anything else. You can attack with them, not very well, but you can. So now we walk all the way up that mountain while carrying this torch. God, even in the coldest area, it's right on the, the heat limit. Oh, I did not place this very well. Jump! There we go. And now we can walk across the rest of the bridge. Pretty bad bridge, but... I mean, the bridge is probably a hundred years old, so at least, like, who knows. Hopefully we, we can get up here without climbing. Yes, there's a bit of a path here. Okay. We're almost there. Well, <laughs> wait, can I actually go up here? Oh no, I need to take this area around, so it's just kind of going around. Alright, alright. It's working. Oh, I'm <laughs> I just set a plant on fire. Uh, 
I'm surprised that plant could survive in this very cold environment. Well, it's not actually that cold, like... It's like winter cold, like you can't go outside in your... In just like one layer of clothing cold. <laughs> like it's not like there's the area around the Rito area where it's just like two layers of cold. Layers of cold. <laughs> uh, could you not? <laughs> I'm just hoping they don't. I mean, they're not. <laughs> they just... <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Alright. They're just following me. Well, I'm there. I'm at the shrine. Net Kamut Shrine. Oh god, I climbed up that little area. <coughs> Let's go in there. Cutting grass. Wildlife taking shelter in grass will sometimes jump out when you cut down their hiding place. Sometimes I like to read those tips, I don't know why. <laughs> Cryonis, alright, the one everyone... Everyone kind of doesn't use that much. At least, I don't use Cryonis that much. When used well, it is probably pretty useful. And there we go, we have uh, installed another update. On our Sheikah phone. <laughs> I don't know, it's it's not really a phone, is it? It's, it's based off of the Wii U gamepad. It's actually smaller than the Wii U gamepad, I think. I don't know, maybe around the same size. They're yeah, lucky it looks exactly like the Switch, too. Oh, yeah, Cryonis. I was, how do I get up here? <laughs> I used the thing that I just got, maybe. It's so nice having uh, gyro when you're aiming on this, that's really... Like I, I had like a, a time where I I think I used a controller without gyro, that was not a fun experience, especially when, when I was playing Graph of the Wild, of course. Like, games like Mario Odyssey don't really need that, like... You get my point. Let's use... Let's use the, ro the rust... No, don't you shoot your lasers at me! It's badly damaged, good. Because I don't I don't really need it anymore. Much at least. But it must be like a chest. Oh yeah, okay, that's a chest. <laughs> and we're up. Traveler Spear. Oh I just got a got a notification from uh, from uh, Game Mania for Black Friday. Oh oh thank thank you. Thank you, YouTube, for informing me that I am currently live. Uh, yes, I need to throw away a weapon. Well, not needed to. You know what? I don't use spears that much. I'll leave it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I'll go up here and then... Do this? This will get me up these stairs. Alright. What now? Bonjour. Uh, I guess... <laughs> Just three back. Okay, nice. <laughs> that that's good. Uh, this is the final shrine. This took me way. This is way faster than I did it like the first time I played. Well, I mean it makes sense. First time you kind of like exploring and stuff. Spirit orb. May the goddess smile upon you. Yes, targeting. I know targeting exists. <laughs> It's existed since Ocarina of Time. And it's kind of revolutionized that game and every Zelda game after it. And I think a ton of other games also use the targeting. Because it's like way easier when you're in 3D. Alright, All right, we're immediately going to teleport out. Oh, are we going to watch the cutscene here? <laughs> Link is freezing. <laughs> With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Ho ho ho, extraordinary. That means it's finally time. Link, it's finally time for me to tell you everything. But first... Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot, the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. You understand? Well, I... 
Where the two lines go? Okay, he just disappeared. <laughs> I'm waiting. Uh, yeah, I kind of know where that is, but I that's actually pretty cool, yeah, because this one connects with this one, and then this one connects with this one, and it comes out of the Temple of Time. Which is cool, I guess. Uh, let's go not from the tower. I don't want to go from the tower. Just, just, just from the shrine. Oh, no, the shrine of resurrection. Because there are... If that's a shrine... I have five shrines on this area. Hmm. Something to think about. Teleporting, and let's go up to. It doesn't really say that you need to be on like the top of the Temple of Time, though. So like, I know that, but I like waited there for quite a while. I can also use those spirit orbs for a heart container. I don't have the glider yet. Oh my god! I'm just like, yeah, let's glide down. Like, I don't have it yet. I'm gonna get it. And I guess what I'm gonna do then is go to Kakariko and start the quest with the pictures. That's probably gonna be it. For this stream at least. I don't know, I might play this game again. It's, it's always like a bit of a question, am I gonna play this game again? Because the only game I've really played multiple times on this on stream is Minecraft, I think. But who knows. I might, I, actually, I did play Mario Maker 2 twice. That's a very big distinction to make. I might actually do some... I don't know. It all kind of depends on what you want. Let's uh, search for some uh, stuff. I can give this to Robbie later on. If we even get to Robbie. It'll be quite a while until we even get to, like, the... the what's the other village called? <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, Temple of Time, I'm first gonna go over there. You see that? Look at that. You can see it's important. Okay, YouTube just decided to crash. Okay, I... <laughs> I don't think there's much I can do about that. Alright. You, you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you a great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. Pardon me. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Well, I'm going to go for a heart container, because early on... Basically, until you've got 13 for the Master Sword, it's basically just going to be heart containers. Until when are you going to stream? Um, I hope I'm going to be able to get the Kakariko. Hopefully. Or your wife. <laughs> Yes, I want a heart container. I shall grant you the power you seek. I know what what theme it plays, but I don't. I can't hear it. <laughs> Hopefully, that was um, a long go and bring peace to Hyrule. All right, that was the old man here. Or? Apparently, maybe, I don't know. The blessing of the goddess has made you, has made you that much more resilient. I see. It's just one heart. It's, well, I mean, when you've got three hearts and it's improving to four, that's a pretty big difference. Playing Among Us. Who plays Among Us and watches a stream at the same time? I mean, not. I'm not. Nothing wrong with that per se. It was like a bit, a bit odd in my opinion, at least. I actually the first time didn't know that there was a ladder there and I had to like climb up precariously. In some ways it is more fun playing the game than the first time because you don't really know where everything is and... I mean I still don't know where everything is, I know basically everything about the Great Plateau but... That's kind of it. Oh look there's a chest, I want to get the chest. <laughs> I'm interested in the chest. Well done there young one. Uh, now I'm asking, is this act voice acted?
I, I hope so. Okay, so it just there's no no there's that there, there's no voice acting. The great calamity was merciless. Okay, then I'm gonna have to. It devastated everything in its path. Uh, I uh, San Diego. It was then my life was taken away from me, and since that time here I have remained in spirit form. I don't think it was wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Hear what happened 100 years ago. I really don't know why in Doctor Mode it, it doesn't do the voice acting. To know uh, Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age-long past. One also knows the story from Age of Calamity. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but transformed into a malice and created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Those relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This conceded of ancient legends of, often repeated uh, throughout our land. We also learned a princess with a secret power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed the Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilot champions a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing Ganon, sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Well, there go all the... all the Guardians. He appeared uh, from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. Residing in the castle. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. Well, that was a story. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. That's why it's called the Legend of Zelda. And courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That night was none other than you, Link. 
You fought violently when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you stand revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask you ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter. And do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts. As well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless of you to head directly into the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. Over there. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika site for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there follow the road as it proceeds north. Alright, so we are going to Kakariko. Go on, here's the paraglider, just as I promised. The paraglider. Now we can glide. Parallelously. Nice little plateau, complete. And now, with that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. Told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Did he, like, actually properly die? <laughs> Main quest, destroy Ganon. <laughs> Pretty interesting objective. Uh, let's go over to... Uh, where? To Kokoriko. Yes, that's where we're going. So I'm just gonna kind of try and go directly to there. I mean, you playing The Legend of Zelda and streaming and reacting to chat. The thing is, I'm I'm playing a game to stream it. Like, <laughs> you're just playing a game while I mean, people watch podcasts or people listen to podcasts while they're doing other stuff. So, okay. yes, it's fine. I prefer to listen to music in those situations. And we have now reached the end of the Great Plateau. <laughs> oh my God. Is he gliding into battle royale? I... I'm afraid to say that there are a bit more than a hundred um, of the... Well, the what are they called? The Book Hoblins, yeah. There are a bit more than a hundred. Hyrule Kingdom. That's... <laughs> Hyrule Kingdom. Literally the entire map. <laughs> I'm probably gonna try and go to one of the towers around the Dueling Peaks. Oh, there's a shrine there. I'll try... There's a new Glido. Oh my god. Why are we comparing Zelda to, to Fortnite? I don't get it. Like, this thing is actually, like, useful for going fast and, like, you need it to continue. Oh my god. I run out of stamina. Maybe we should. Link needs to run on water boot. Link needs to run on water boot. Can Link run on water? I. <laughs> oh, you mean like Cryonis? Because. Yeah, I, I can use Cryonis, but that's not really walking on water. I. I don't really get. Look, this is like a place where you can actually use the glider. Look at this. So I'm not gonna even touch the water. Look at that. And immediately on here. Could you... Um, 
There we go. Now I have a Bokoblin arm instead. Good. I have an arm. I fight. I fight the. I fight with an arm. He had a run on air. In oh, and okay, in in um, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I know that, but I don't think he has that in Breath of the Wild. I don't think that exists in Breath of the Wild. For walking on water. Can you do a 20... I don't even know what that is. I mean, what what you're saying... Also, he's not a teenager. He's more than 100 years old. If you... <laughs> the story is that he's at least 100. <laughs> And this is... I'm not going to do these. I'm just going to put a stamp on there. But what was that? Oh, firing arrows at me. He's definitely no teenager. He's more than 100 years old. <laughs> but, like, in Ocarina of Time, uh, there is the child Link, yes, but I don't think... Does he have the... I, I don't know. I haven't, as I said, I haven't played Ocarina of Time. But, yes, in, in that game... Where he is not a hundred yet, uh, he he does have boots that allow him to walk on water. Oh, I just looked out of the window. There's a cat in the garden. <laughs> we don't have a cat. There's just occasionally just a cat that shows up on in the garden. He was just walking beside him there. That means he died and was reborn. No, that doesn't. He... I mean, yeah, technically. He almost died and was then brought to the Shrine of Resurrection, sat there for a hundred years, and now he's going to save Hyrule. Basically, that's that's just that's what happens. And I'm not really uh, all too familiar with the overarching lore of the different Zelda games. Sneaky, sneaky river snail. Call yourself sneaky. Well, I caught you, so you're not really that sneaky. Look at that. Let's go up to the tower. No, it's. <laughs> that's not. That's not. No. <laughs> that's like a cat from the neighbors, I think. There was a. There's actually like multiple cats that like occasionally come into the garden. <laughs> Oh, I. All right. No, not cryonis. Stasis. Uh, not st oh, also not stasis. What color is the cat? It was like um light brown. So amber. Now we now we swim. Oh god, this isn't gonna work, is it? Well, I'm gonna go on the the that show. Black, <laughs> just <laughs> come on. No, that's 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 not me. <laughs> Let's not be racist, shall we? Racist? Racist. <laughs> Racist. How did he see me? I was so far... Oh, that guy saw me. Okay, I didn't see that that guy saw me. Please, no. Okay, he missed. Good. I'm almost there. Now... Get over... Okay, thank God. He was almost... Also not true. I don't, I don't get what, what what this dis discussion is about. <laughs> Five people watching, but only two typing. I like. Yeah, but I. I no one needs to type. Like there's the chat at the moment is not really. There's not not much to say in chat. Oh, I shouldn't be here. There's two blue ones. Let's just glide over to this guy. I can go by this place as well. Dueling Peaks Tower. I mean, yeah, it's not... It's like a Minecraft llama, he spits arrows. He doesn't spit arrows, though, he has a bow. <laughs> He's not like a Minecraft skeleton. He doesn't spit those. As far as I can remember, nothing spits anything. Oh, no, 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 the Octorok spit, spit, like... Rocks at you. I hope this is the, the area. Actually, is this the area where I need? To... Yeah, I, I need to be there. So, if I do this tower, I can get to Kakariko. Probably gonna have to listen to Impa story as well. Oh, 
But what? What? No. Okay. Oh god. What? What person do you mean no boat? Is it one of the Octoroks? Because the skeletons or these guys over there, they don't spit the arrow. Oh no, they, that that's a rock he's throwing. Also, that he didn't spit that either. He he he, he was throwing a rock or shooting arrows from a bow. Otherwise, you have the Octoroks, which spit rocks at you. They're not those. They're usually in the water. Maybe there is one in this water. I don't know. Minecraft Bedrock. I. There are llamas in both Java and Bedrock, right? Like, they... <laughs> there's no, no difference in that. Let's just jump up. I know we can make it. Also, Link has less stamina than the baby. No, he doesn't. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> and you can upgrade it as well. So, yeah. Could you, could you imagine? You've been asleep for a hundred years. So this game three year old play something new. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna This game is three years old. Apparently it's ancient already. Apparently. Do I do I need to play Age of Calamity then? That released like two weeks ago. And it's also in the same world. Like <laughs> Does it matter? Does it matter? You know what? I'm gonna play Tetris Attack next week. I'm I'm gonna stream Tetris Attack next next week. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Shika Sensor, good. I don't really care about Shika Sensor though. Also, Tetris Attack is from like '92 or whatever. So, <laughs> yes, there's a shrine close by. I know. Please, I don't want to do the shrines now. So play Fortnite at least. Updates is not. Yeah, also, you're saying that Breath of the Wild is three years old. Uh, isn't Fortnite even older? <laughs> Fortnite has at least updates. Oh, and this game doesn't? You think this game doesn't get updated or what? <laughs> this game gets updated. It, it got, like, DLC in 2018 and another one in 2019. Like... <laughs> I don't have the DLC, but that doesn't matter. It's still... It's still there. I might buy it. It's 20 bucks for both. Paying $80 for the game with some DLC. I mean, that, that does have Champions Ballad and uh, Master Mode. No. Tetris 99. I'm, oh. Alright. <laughs> also, I'm gonna turn off the shrine uh, thing because... That's gonna be annoying on stream, I'm sure of it. Play Tetris 99. I don't want to play Tetris 99, I want to play Tetris Attack. <laughs> Normal Tetris is not as good as Tetris Attack, or Puzzle League it's called nowadays. Stay, so let's do this shrine and... Uh... And no, I'm not playing Fortnite again, that's... <laughs> That's a promise. I'm never playing Fortnite again. I did that one stream. That was it. Also, 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 I will sponsor the Fortnite stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was I actually doing? I... Oh, it's in there. Okay, so... Oh, this moves the platform. All right. <laughs> I just stood on the button. It worked. The email I gifted you in season five. I don't. I'm not. I don't have the game installed anymore. <laughs> As I said, I'm not playing. I'm not playing it anymore. Okay. Like that. I prefer real games like Breath of the Wild. Like actual games that have content in them. I'll gift you a skin. Please, just uh, no. You you're not gonna bribe me. <laughs> Like, he's, he's literally, literally bribing me, like, I'm going to give you money if you play this game. Okay, that was... <laughs> Can I, okay. There. Oh my god. Oh, almost there, come on. 
Why did you delete Fortnite? Because I didn't enjoy it. If you don't enjoy a game, you're not gonna play it. Like, I did enjoy it for a slight bit. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. Enjoyed it when, when, the, when, when the chapter 2, and then I enjoyed it for a little bit. So how do I get that chat? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the end. Delete 2. Alright. I mean, how are you gonna... What, what, what do I care what Pokemane does? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Look, I don't know about you, but I don't simp for anyone. So, I'm not literally stealing content. So I, for, for sponsors, what what product are you gonna can sponsor me? What what product are you gonna gonna pay pay me to talk about? What Fortnite? Just <laughs> you gonna pay me to talk about Fortnite then? Because that's what a sponsor is. You pay me, and I say what you want me to say. That's how a sponsor works. Or I do what you want me to do. That also because uh, maybe some people play a game. Or in, in another way, like, maybe, like, the the two people who gave me a, a free copy of uh, Project High Rise and... Oh, what was the other one? I forgot what the other one was, I'm sorry. And the mobile game, but I'm not streaming that because it's a mobile game. <laughs> yeah, the simple game. <laughs> I'm happy that what I was trying to insinuate actually did uh, <laughs> go through there. Oh look, there's a. Oh, there's another shrine. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, land on it. Hardama shrine. All right, goddess statues. Yeah, they give you uh, stamina vessels or heart containers. The water guides. Okay, this is, I think, a very easy one. Just use Cryonis. And then use Cryonis again. Oh no, you, you use Cryonis on the wall. For, uh, for a bit of change. Wait, can I get up there? Oh no! Well, at least I don't die here. Need to make sure it's high enough. Who's gonna put me? Alright, oh, over there. I, 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 this isn't high enough. Go a little bit high because it can climb on doors, but it can't climb on this. What's this? Um, what? <laughs> Wait, oh, I can place them over there. I didn't even know that. <laughs> cool. What's this? Oh no. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Please don't. Okay. That fell down. So I could place one. Yeah, that's the issue. So I place one there, and then it'll stay in that position. And then it falls down. The oh. <laughs> Celebrated a bit too early there. Okay, this should work. Also, if it doesn't work, I have a very big issue. It's not talking after I type that. Correct. Oh, needs to show the animation that the door was opened. Okay, good. And that's, I think, the end of this uh, area. Alright. Yeah, I'll skip this. Come on. We don't have all day. I want to go to Kakariko and then maybe talk to Wimper. She's probably going to tell me more about that story as well. And it healed me. May the goddess smile upon you. Good. Now I hope there's... I, I kind of hope there isn't any other shrines in the way. Because... 
I don't really want to do more shrines. I want to kind of just go to... to Kakariko. Right, so there's... you can buy stuff on these uh, stables, but I don't really need a Dueling Peak stable. <laughs> The chat is just... <laughs> I'm gonna stop acknowledging what's happening in chat, just... <laughs> oh... Oh, this is the area with the many guardians. There's a memory here. I'm... I'm not gonna get it yet. <laughs> it... Oh no, that's the final memories here. That's right. So I can't get it yet. Why am I not following the path? Just follow the darn... Because look, this is the first thing that happens when I don't follow the path. bridge and I hopefully let's go to actually no I go up this bridge and then go over there and then I can actually that's just the entrance of Kakariko there all right Kak Kakariko bridge so we're almost there I can pick up a rock is there something underneath that rock nope <laughs> oh the rock God, this bridge is in ruins. <laughs> you can see why that wooden bridge just broke. <laughs> Surprised this thing hasn't collapsed yet. And one person walks around and just collapses immediately. Alright. Just kind of sprinting until my stamina bar is empty, then just normal walking and then sprinting. Going to keep doing that. Oh, he wants to attack me, does he? Oh no, he just stands still. Okay. <laughs> the moment I grab a weapon, he's just like, no. Oh, here's uh, that guy, yeah. You have a quest, I know that. I need to kill those people, but like, I'm gonna do that. You, you can see me. I can see you. <laughs> And yes, and anyone be able to see me? I'm Hestu and I need your help. There's the monsters over there shall stole my beloved maracas. Yeah. I'm gonna do that next stream. Oh, well, not next stream, but another stream uh, if I'm gonna do another one of uh, Breath of the Wild. Please get my maracas back from them. The priceless maracas. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Let's just do it. I have a hammer. I can, I can kill them with two hits. Let's just kill him. Wait, let's grab a bomb or two. That already knocked him. Uh... No, don't you dare. This is working surprisingly well. I mean, this hammer really shouldn't be. Like it's... I just quickly want to deal with this. And there we go. Dead, dead. Look at that. Open the chest, it's just like that. Book all in guts. Oh, that's something great to have. <laughs> There's usually some arrows in here, that's why I open them up. And this should have uh, his maracas. <laughs> I can just take the maracas and take him myself. Let's do his maracas, I can just take him myself. Just leave. Nope. Yes, go down, thanks. I'll give these to Hestu and then maybe I can use my... Uh, what's it called? Oh, hello there. Sun rays of topaz. Oh yikes, I'm sorry, I was having such a beautiful day dream. I was completely zoned out, thinking about rubies and sapphires. Isn't that a generation of Pokemon, ruby and sapphire? <laughs> Okay, yeah, gems. I'm 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 gonna talk to Hestia now, all right? Just standing there, like idling. Maracas. Yes, your maracas. He. Those are your maracas. Well, well seen. Well spotted. Mm. 
But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. Korok seeds inside are gone. I'm supposed to dance now. That one Korok seed. Yeah, done. I have one. I have one. I have one. Good. I have one. I have one. Yes. I have one. Yes. Good. <laughs> Stash. I want my weapon stash, melee weapons. That's like the main one you'd want to upgrade. Oh, why did I skip it? He was dancing. <laughs> why did I skip that? It's just instantly automatically skip it. Na, 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 na. Yeah, an extra slot. Why did I skip it? It's just, this dance is great. My phone doesn't really like the cable on top of its screen, <laughs> really. Yeah, for a little while, so if you find more cork seeds, I'll, I'll bring them to him. Priceless markers complete. I mean, they're useful enough. Like <laughs> inventory expansion, it just makes your pockets deeper. You just don't notice. Incredible technology. What they've been able to do nowadays. Oh, what, what, what? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the Kakariko. <laughs> We're almost there. It's like basically there. Oh, there's another Korok here. I think this one's pretty... No, I... Well, the goat was lucky. <laughs> it's another one of those really easy ones. Wow. I can go back to him and give this one to him as well, but like that... <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna go to Kakariko. We're almost at two hours already. <laughs> Shiny rocks, amber, and rock salt. <laughs> it's a bit too uh, too much water in the air. Always use some rock salt. And this is basically the entrance already. Basically the entrance of Kakariko. And there are multiple gates. <laughs> Interesting. Kakariko Village. Look, there's someone... What happened? <laughs> Travel floor, I'm sorry, but it seemed to have twisted my ankle. Let's see here. You don't have to see me like that. <laughs> Say, Traveler. Where'd you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see... <laughs> from a shrine of resurrection! <laughs> yes, I see. The Sheikah Slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of a legend. But there are a few more who know such legends anymore. But we Shika have been waiting for you for a very long time. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet our leader, Lady Impa. Okay, will do. Okay, so we really want to meet you. I suppose you used to have <laughs> that thing as long as you have. Oh yeah, the, I forgot like those uh the cuckoos. I want to see that journal entry. <laughs> Uh, that's that I, I I do want to read that. Uh, can I get in? Whoa, huh? <laughs> you there? Who are you? Are they a trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm. Is that a Sheikah slate? That would mean you are. No, it's not possible. Can it be? Just let me in. Come on. <laughs> Please forgive us for, for behaving so rudely. Of course, we've heard the legend from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. <laughs> I bumped into him. <laughs> oh, there is. There's Baya. A man. <laughs> a man? What is that? It's a Sheikah Slate. You be the hero my grandmother told me about. What was his name? Ling? Uh, no, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is ba ba Baya. <laughs> Good. If you only got it out. <laughs> I should be able to say that easily, seeing as <laughs> my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother has been awaiting your return ever since I was little. Please hurry inside. Oh, look at that. There is Impa. There she is. So you're finally... So, you're finally awake. <laughs> just, just the intro of Skyrim starts. <laughs> Quite a long time, Link. 
I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Oh, is this voice acted, I guess? Oh, it's it's just... Okay, it, voice acting just doesn't... Uh, you look at me as though as I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the, sight, the, the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name, Impa. I see, so you have lost your memory. Well, it matters not. In fact, it may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. A hundred years ago. Yes, a hundred years ago the Kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. Then, all gone, uh, all then all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before the Princess Zelda went to the nobly, went to nobly, went to nobly me. I don't know what nobly means. <laughs> me the faith. She entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I'm waiting a hundred years to deliver the princess's message. However. The words which the princess risked her life to these words which the princess risked her life to leave you well if you are to hear them you must be prepared to risk your life as well I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories I leave no choice to you when you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message return to me now <laughs> I'll pass them on to someone who lacks conviction you better risk your life. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Not, not a memory to your name yet. Is you intend as you ever charge forward with only courage and justice on your side? You have not changed a bit. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. A primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again. By a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. Too many cutscenes. This is the early part of the game. After this, there literally isn't... This is literally the last one, I think. Well, there's the memories, but it those really count. Okay, so there's the, the couple of uh, intro cutscenes, then there's the memories, and then there's the final boss. I think there are a lot of games with way more cutscenes than this. I was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. I'll just continue reading it because I don't know why the voice acting doesn't work, as I said. Even though it was the most powerful, most of pause, a little threat to the denizens of the realm words people thought it would be wise to utilize their technology technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should calamity ganon ever return by the way with what you're saying but about too many cutscenes i'm just kind of rushing through the game you don't even have to watch this one. I'm just watching this one because I want. You, you literally do not have to watch this one if you want to beat the game. Needing autonomous weapons called guardians. Yeah, there's there's a lot on this. Uh, so the four divine beasts, fired by, by four individuals of exceptional skill from across of the land, and thus the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. There he is, upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule. The princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. We also just skip these, man. <laughs> the guardians were tasked with protecting the hero. The wine beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe.
and the hero wielding the soul that seals the darkness delivered his final blow. The princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Well, and that's the image behind her. Well, alright. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That's what she said. Four divine beasts. The four divine beasts are the ancient Sheikah weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. Divine beast of Arudanya, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. Divine beast of Amedo, uh, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. Divine beast of uh, Varuta, controlled by Mifa of the Zora. And the Divine Beast of Anaboras, controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. And now we know <laughs> where they are. I think this is like the thing that I least like about the game that it tells you where they are I think it just kind of should explore because it's pretty obvious where they are after like <laughs> seems to me that your Sheikah slate is not yet complete the vice princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory now let's see some of the research lab in Hatino village might be able to help you Hatino village that's over there Location shining on the eastern edge is Hatino Village. Small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. Look the mementos, new objective. Alright. You have Princess Zelda's only hope and high rules as well. You cannot turn back now, follow your heart and seize your destiny. Alright. So, as I said, once we, we uh, reached Kakariko and talked with Impa we would stop and that's what we are going to do so yeah uh, thank you for watching there's not really much else oh yeah a, a, a pretty important point next week there is not going to be a stream nor a video because um i have exams coming up uh, on that day the first one uh, by the time the week after that i should be done didn't really check very well but next week is probably gonna be nothing yeah probably this just gonna be nothing so yeah that's the most important after that uh, should be the week after that should be uh, just another stream I might do Mario Kart or something I don't know we'll see then uh, or Project High Rise so yeah thank you for watching and uh, yeah goodbye I guess yeah oh yeah I wanted to wait a quick moment. Uh, I want to. Oh, here, here. Journal of various worries. Well, my wife left me today. The last thing she said to me was, "What's more important, the cuckoos or me?" Cuckoos are chickens, by the way. I chose the cuckoos, the bowmaster. I, <laughs> I just love this one. This just, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. As I was saying, uh, goodbye. <laughs> uh, 